they must use or write every power of mind, soul, and body. They cannot afford to waste any mental or physical strength. The question of how to preserve the health is one of primary importance. When we study this question in the fear of God, we shall learn that it is best. So how do we study it? In the fear of God. We shall learn that it is best for both our physical and our spiritual advancement to observe simplicity and diet. We don't need nine course meals. Okay, we need simplicity and diet. Let us patiently study this question. We need knowledge and judgment in order to move wisely in this matter. Nature's laws are not to be resisted, but obeyed. And you know, when we when we are violating these things, you know, our body knows it. And it says, just don't resist it, but obey nature. She talks to you. And here's where the, here's where it got me convicted, right here. Those who have I, mean, I am I am it right here, starting me. It says, those who have received instruction regarding the evils of the use of flesh foods, tea and coffee, and rich and unhealthful food preparation, now I've heard everything that you can tell me about all those things. Okay? I've heard it for 22 years. So I've had the instruction. And who are determined to make a covenant with God by sacrifice. But I'm also determined to make a covenant with God. Maybe I wasn't willing to do that sacrificing part. But now I am. And it says they will not continue to indulge their appetite for food that they know to be unhealthy. Mm. If we're going to make that covenant mm. with God, we've got to get rid of that stuff. Mm. Yeah. And, you know, I this week have made a covenant with God to get rid of that stuff. Amen. By His grace, I will. Amen. God demands that the appetites be cleansed. We have perverted appetites. You know, we, we love the things that are bad for us. And I don't think God made us that way. God demands that the appetites be cleansed and that self-denial be practiced in regard to those things which are not good. We're going to be longing for something that is not good. So it says just practice self-denial by God's grace. This is a work, and look at this part, this last sentence is a, a clincher. This is a work that will have to be done before his people can stand before him, a perfected people. Amen. Amen. So in other words, before you can step into that Jordan River, this is something that has to be done. Before you can get across the river. So, how many will join me with that and there? That we'll make a covenant with God by sacrifice and not continue to indulge appetite for food that they know to be unhealthy. Amen. So our closing hymn. <coughs> yes. Six oh eight. Six oh eight.
we thank you that you're able to lead us across this Jordan River to the promised land. Lord, we thank you that you're able to make us strong and have a good carriage and that we'll be not dismayed. And Lord, we just place ourselves in your hands. We give ourselves to you and ask you to forgive us of our sins, cleanse us from all unrighteousness, <coughs> put a right spirit with us, and give us that faith that gives us the victory in Jesus Christ.